you mentioned preparation. Uh, you got to work with one of the greatest of all time, and that's Harry Kaus. Mm -hmm. Obviously, no longer with us. What was his preparation like? What was I know he was had a huge personality and and maybe a, a, short, a, stare, a share a story or two. Well, I'll tell you one thing about Harry's score sheets. First of all, he didn't keep any of them. He always threw them out after the game, which I always thought was amazing because I was like, that, that that was a really good game. You could have kept that one. Um, he wrote You're Harry Callis. You could sell that. Yeah, exactly. He wrote so small. You know, people look at mine sometimes and they're like, well, how could you read that? And I'm like, well, because it's my handwriting. You could not even see what he wrote. He wrote so tiny, but he saw it all. He saw it all. Um, he was he was a great I, I was so lucky having Harry, Chris Wheeler and Andy Musser. Those were the three when I first started. And Larry Anderson who's still there, too. But those are the three mainstays. Um, but Harry was great. When I left for the two years to go to the Mets, he was the first person that called me when I got the job because it was a bigger job than what I had in Philadelphia. And then when the Phillies called and asked me to come back to do TV, I was I was basically brought back to eventually replace Harry when he retired. But we didn't think that was for like 10 years down the road. I signed like a five year deal you know, with an extension for five after and all this stuff. And unfortunately he passed away two years after I got back. Um, but he was amazing in the way he called, made a big call, like a really big call. Cause he couldn't see all perfectly at the end, but he still hit that big call better than anybody still to this day. Um, you know, long, you know, long drive, a, a, the whole thing out of here. It was just, nobody did it better. I was so grateful, Colin, that he called the 08 World Championship. So grateful. No offense to me or Scott Fransky, who's fantastic, or anybody else, but the fact that he called that last out, and I mean, subsequently passed away less than a year later, but the fact that he got that opportunity, man, it made me feel so good. I was standing next to him when he called it. I was pinned up against the wall because the booth was, you know, we had so many cameras in the booth. And that was really neat to see that. That was really neat to see that. But he was great to me. Great to me from my first day in 2000 when I tried out to, you know, the day he passed away when I remember the morning vividly, we we're in the clubhouse in Washington. He was writing the lineup down. We we're both writing the lineup down. He said, all right, T-Mac, if anything changes, because there was an injury, I can't remember who was injured, that they may be taken out of the lineup that Charlie was going to switch it. If anything changes, just let me know. And I said, okay, Gage, I'll talk to you in a little bit. And then that was it. We had, I didn't, I never talked to him again. Um, 20 minutes later, we got the call that there was somebody in distress up at the press box. And it was, it was a tough day. Um, we miss him even, even today, we miss just um, the moments that he made even better because his voice was, would lend it to him. And, and you know what? Football wise, he was unbelievable on football. And when he did the NFL film stuff, Scott Graham does such a great job with the NFL film stuff. Now, Harry was, you know, we had John Facenda and Harry Callis. And now Scott, but Harry was so good at doing those NFL films things, man. Incredible voice. What a legend. Yeah. Incredible voice. What, what a legend. And he just, just, uh, yeah, just a pro. And yeah. I, I heard some funny stories about him off, you know, outside and he's uh, likes to have a good time. And, and yeah, he uh, did like to have a good time. That, that's what makes it great. You know, he, yeah. he liked traveling. He loved San Francisco, loved playing the piano and singing in San Francisco, things like that. Um, yeah, he was he was a good man. I, I'm really lucky that, that I that he was part of my life, such a big part of my life for so long.